Man, everything. I'm what you mean? He's stealing in our house like a m He just broke up all that stuff last night. Imagine being wrongly arrested and the far-reaching consequences it brings. The fallout is more than a simple error. From a corrupt officer cowering in fear from an innocent teenager. Why are you checking me? I didn't say you did anything. So, so you don't why, have any? Why did you take me out the car? Do you have any drugs? Ones on your I don't. Like I told you they were the first time. I do mine. Okay. To one who audaciously pulls over a police chief for a traffic infraction. Are you gonna write me a ticket? Sir, we're just trying. I'm the police chief of Devon. Are you gonna write me a ticket? Why are you coming up to me You're like that? Me I'm doing my job, right? right? What are you stopping for? Here are some moments when cops arrest the wrong person. Beginning with the rush to justify their actions, these police ignored their own mistakes and pressed forward without correcting their course. On October 30th, 2023, the officers responded to an emergency call from a woman who was concerned that her husband, Nathan, might harm himself. The cop spoke with Nathan, and since he hadn't done anything wrong, he began to walk away. However, the situation escalated from there. Hey, Bob. Are you Nathan? Are, is your name Nathan? Hey, so your wife wanted us to check on you. My wife? Yeah. Are you going through something? Um, yeah, I do. Put your hands out of your pocket for me. No, you're good. No, no. Hey, I need you to come back over here and talk to me, though. That's a order. Hey. Sir. Sir. I'm just trying to listen. We're just doing a welfare check on you. Yes. I might be in the tent. Yes. Not right now. I need to talk to you. He don't want to talk. Hey, come here. What's going on? Well, if you're suicidal, that is a crime. It's a crime to be suicidal? It is. Well, I'm not suicidal, so... Well, that's not what we got. Well, that's so you not have your ID on you. Nope. You're going to go to jail. Walk away. Been taking the check. If you walk away from me, you're going to jail. Really? For yes. What? Obstruction. What? So keep arguing. So I'm being detained for what? We got a call. We're here to talk to you. I don't care if you want to talk to us or not. Okay. So you're just going to keep me out in the cold? I will. So what is going on? I'm not talking to you. I got any other questions. That's fine. Go ahead and turn around and check my chat. Oh, well, you should detain you without handcuffs. Yeah, I think you're just handcuffs. intimidating me. <laughs> Alright. Son of a. Huh? No, son of a. Okay. Alright. Go. Yeah. Now you're just violating my rights. Well, there's no violation of rights when you're under arrest. <laughs> the arrest is a false arrest. Okay. What pressure? Are you done? I'm not done. Let's take me to f***ing jail, you f***. Really? Really.
<laughs> the police detained Nathan without a valid reason, so they tried to find a justification for their actions. This one? Yes, a little bit. Okay. It's it's not you. So we uh, came over here to do a welfare check on a Nathan Argent. Um, I don't have his driver's license. Hold on. He drives a Prius with a rat. Camera go. Okay. Okay. He's been arrested. Oh shit. Okay. So we came over here to do a welfare check. We. His wife said that he's been threatening to kill himself, that she's been trying to beg him to come home. Whoa, I knew there's something wrong with him. Um, the last couple of days of the project, he was all... So, um, he was walking away from his car whenever he pulled up. And I asked the other officer, do you know, is that him? She was like, I never even saw that person. So I did my little whoop whoop at him, ignored it, did it two more times. He looked back and kept on walking, refused to talk to me. You know, hey, I need to know if you're okay. I ain't got to talk to you. Walks off. So he's going to jail. Okay. I don't know what you want to do with this car out there. Oh, uh, I mean, dude's like two hours away from home. Yeah, uh, Atkins or Elkins, something like uh, that. What's when will he be released? Uh, I personally don't know if the jail will be holding misdemeanors, so it's possible that that he'll go down there to D Wit and just get O R. But he'll be on the streets and D Wit. But or, um, how far is that away? Like an hour? Thirty minutes. It's yeah, it's 25 miles. It's not it's not too terrible, but I, I do suggest that I mean I'm gonna call his wife when we're done here because he was very agitated with us when oh yeah had an attitude when I asked to get his hands out of his pockets because you know we were told that he likes to carry knives and sharp objects. Went to pat him down. Is there anything in here that's gonna <clears throat> stick or poke me? You'll find out. Oh wow. So um, yeah, that's not that's not something you want to do. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I, I hate to see dude's stuff go to get impounded and stuff. I hate seeing get well, stuff. Well, we're not going to tow it because we never actually physically saw him inside the car. Okay, okay. So we didn't search his car. We don't know what's in it. Um, we know he had a box cutter that's probably from working up in here. Yeah. But I think we're just going to get him with obstruction just because he wouldn't, like, sit there and talk to us. Didn't want to give us his ID. Oh, yeah, we'll you know, see. we already knew who he was, but. Yeah. Um, See, last I heard a couple of weeks ago, him and his wife or ex-wife was having issues. Mm -hmm. What was it? A Subaru he drove first. And Wendell was busted out of it, and I had some incident on it. He said ex-wife, and then a couple of weeks later, he shows up in that Prius saying they're trying to get back together. So I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, I don't see that working well. She busted my windshield. I wouldn't want to be back with her. Yeah. Um, um, well, the car, I mean, the car is... The car can sit out there. They, they well, if y'all have to move it, I'm concerned because it's literally parked in between those containers out there. Oh, they're not his containers. Oh, they are? Well, one okay. of them is. Okay. They should, it should be fine. Would he, would he let you move the car? Oh, we, we have all of his property. That was so, on him. The keys were in his pocket. So can we move it? I don't care. Oh, oh. We, no, he's headed to jail now. Oh, he's already left? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's free. It's mm -hmm. that wild. Why, just pick it up and move it. Hey, <laughs> it's possible. I don't share blood. Or the mic <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let you know because I know he was headed back up in here and he's not going to be coming back. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little upset with you now. I'm so... Now, listen, now, you, now, you're basically now. done anyway. Actually, it's going to be these people mad at you because the cameras ain't... Oh, not me. It's going to be the big boss, Kevin Newton. <laughs> I, I don't want to get on his bad side right. either. But, no, it's, um, it, stuff happens. It's understandable. You got to do what you got to do. So. Apparently, well, he has a history of like mental health issues, and he had medication in his pocket that <clears> didn't have his name on the bottle. It's like a Daniel F. something. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll contact Ryan, my boss, and let him know so they can see somebody else out of the pitch. Yeah, because he's third party. I'll be you. Yeah. I don't, don't want to, you know, we wouldn't go as far as that one. Yeah. Nathan was charged with obstructing governmental operations and theft, but all charges were dropped because they were unfounded. Find out how this corrupt cop turned a simple traffic stop into a stressful nightmare for an innocent man. On August 9th, 2018, Tayon Leah was driving his mother's vehicle when Officer Kevin Crawford of the Louisville Metro Police stopped him for making an improper turn. Officer Kevin started his routine procedures, but he did something unnecessary without a clear reason. What's going on, man? Yeah. You know I'm stopping you for? Man, when you turned on here on the Dixie, uh, right, 18th Street, yeah. turned in the far left lane, it's supposed to turn in the right lane. So that's two lanes? That's the reason why I'm there. Are there any weapons in the car? No drugs? Do you have your ID? No, you ain't got any guns, right? You good, buddy?
I'm sorry? Yeah, you got three jobs. All the same. Say something about work? Yeah. We'll go ahead and check them out. Give me back for your hands off camera. Let's go open it up to the Give me a favor, grab your phone, and you walk, stick it on the seat. Wow. Because I'm telling you, or it's going to fall out when you get out of the vehicle. Why are you taking me okay. out the vehicle? I'll move it up here for you. Mama, they're okay. taking me out the vehicle. Don't hop out? Get out of the car. They, they're telling me to get out, out of the car now. And that's the reason why I didn't want anything on you. I don't want to break your phone, brother. Right. You don't have any weapons on you, do you? I don't. No drugs? Nope. Awesome, man. So turn around, put your hands on the car phone. Switch feet. I don't have, I even did anything. Why are you checking me? For? I didn't say you did anything. So you don't why, have any? Why did you take me off the car? Do you have any drugs on your phone? I don't. Yourself? I told you that you asked me the first time. I do mind. Okay. Let oh, me make sure you don't have any weapons, okay? No. Yeah. We're allowed to pat you down for what? Mama, they pat me down. Yeah, we're allowed to do that. Quit doing the clenching your fist thing. Dude. What's, what's bull for us? The day I got off, I just want to go home. Can you close my door? No. Why? I can't leave you to go close the door. Okay. Quit with the attitude. He's not giving you an attitude, and I'm not giving you an attitude. I understand. We deal with violent crime all day, every day. We're going to stop 30 more people after you. As soon as we get down here, you'll go home, okay? If you're wasting our time and we're wasting your time, I'm sorry for the small inconvenience. We're allowed to get people out of the car. Your ch your heart is beating through your chest when you're on the phone with your mama and you're narrating to your mom. Mom, I'm stopped by the police. This is where I'm at. They're getting me out of the car. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. When you do all that, it's the same thing that people do yeah. when they're trying to hide something from the police and they're trying to take the, the situation off of it. Just like you're looking back at my partner over and over and over again, like you're waiting for him to see something or for him to do something wrong. It's 2018, young man. We all wear body cameras. It's recording all of it. It records your audio, my audio. It records all that. So guess what happens? When, if, if, and when, if there was something in that vehicle and we go to trial over it, guess what? The jury, your attitude. We're here for you, man. There's a shooting every day. It's crazy. It's sad. It's ridiculous. Despite finding nothing on Leah or in the record, Kevin remained skeptical. However, Tay's mother made him angrier. <laughs> Canine indication at 18. Positive. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Really likes the wallet. I'm not gonna have you run basically like that. There's a, the dog indicated on your vehicle. I don't know what's in your car, but like I said, I don't want you to run. So you're still just being detained. You're not free to go, but you're not under arrest at this time. I just don't want you to go anywhere, okay? But I'm not gonna fight you, and I'm certainly not gonna chase you. I had to chase some guy last night, and I haven't recovered from it. So I'm not chasing you today, okay? I'll come talk to you. Just do me a favor, hang out by the cell phone pole. What did you pull him up for? I'll, I'll, I'll come talk to you, okay? Let's okay, come over here for me. There's nothing in there. Okay. Cool. Let's, can you do me a favor and come back over here? I'm just giving you a reference for you this way okay. you can see me. Okay. Right? I'm, the, I'm the detective who pulled him over. Yeah. Okay. So basically, he committed a traffic violation right what in front of me. What did he do? He conducted an improper turn on the 18th Street. I, I, thought he, I was on the phone with him the whole way. Okay. He, he said you were following him the whole way. Okay. There was no improper turn. Okay. Well, and he didn't give you Luckily enough for you, ma'am. Luckily enough for you, everything was captured on body camera, okay? No, luckily enough for you. Oh, really? But okay. He didn't give you permission okay. to search We don't all. need his permission, ma'am. Yes, ma you do. We had a positive indication by the came out, okay? Oh, my God. So, ma'am, you guys are more than welcome to watch, videotape, whatever. Just do me a favor. Give us some room and stay over here, please. Ma'am, please stay over here. I'm You're trespassing on private property right now? It's for sale. Ma'am. Stay over there, please. No, if you I'm approach right. my traffic stop, I will take you. Ma'am, if you approach my traffic stop, I this will take you to jail. That I don't care. Car. I do not care. I don't care, care either. You know what? Okay. She Great. Ma'am, okay. sir, can you do me a favor and talk? No, no, no. She's standing back. We're standing back. Can you go? I'm giving you a reference point to stand at, okay? I'm it's right over here by the jail. Do you see where I'm pointing at? Yes, that would be amazing, please. I'm not going nowhere. No, I get interrupted by her. She um, opened up the door and took me out. You ever been in trouble before? Yes, it's Kentucky 1161. Okay, 
anything as a juvenile at all? Okay. Um, private investigator. Your mom is? What's with all the cussing, man? Kevin found himself in a tough spot, attempting to find a way to pin something on Tay while another cop talked to Tay's mother. Holy cross. What would she have liked so much in his life? Other than some probably Maybe been... handling or handling narcotics and then touching the wallet. And, yeah. You know what I mean? So many papers and he's trying to go through. Does he have an ID? Yeah. Sir, have you had anything in your wallet, like uh, maybe some narcotics in the past or anything like that? No little bit of anything? Okay. Have you been around anyone that maybe could have touched your wallet? Okay. You mom? You want to talk to me? You doing all right? I'm pissed off for real. What are you pissed I off for? Because I was on the phone with my son. He was scared yeah. to death. The narc was following me, and I don't know why. Okay. I said, well, where are you at and what are you doing? He said, I'm not doing nothing because he went to the store to get a flush. I said, okay, okay, look, just don't do nothing wrong. He yeah. knows the rules. He's got, he's got his license. You know, yeah. He's a working young man. He don't cause no problems. Yeah. And then for him, the thing is, he took him out the car. He didn't tell him what he was pulling him over for. Nothing. Put the phone down and get out the car. He said, well, for what? You know, and he said, just put it down because it's going to drop. Well, why are you taking me out the car? That's what he asked. He said, because I want to. Because I can't. And then he's going to tell me, for my, I'm lucky that he got his body camera on. No, you lucky that you got the body camera on. Because if what you said happened, it's really on that body camera. It's on there, it's yeah. Cool. It's public you know? record. It's exactly. on there. Exactly. Yeah, I know. Exactly. But, I mean, and then tell me that you detected drugs in my car? Come on, dude. I'm telling you. I'm an officer of the court. There's no drugs in my car. We know better. No, he, didn't say know there's, that. he didn't say there's drugs in the car. Yeah, he said that it detected drugs. Okay. So no in the car or had been in the car? I don't know. Either way. That's usually the uh, cars and shepherds up there in that room. You just walk in there. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. That girl let him in. I just said, so. The so whole thing is, if it's a wrong term, give him a ticket. You don't have to bring that's the dog. That's not what we're out here for. Okay. What are you out here for? We're that's a violent, what he said. Okay. We're a violent crime scene. First, we're not narcotics. Okay. But so listen, he's just will you, will you listen to me? Because I want to. Ex right okay. Oh, well, you're not going to listen, I don't think, because I'm trying to explain it to you. And you, before I can even tell you what we're doing or why we're here or who we are, you're already asking. You're already asking another question. You're just not allowing me to explain I mean, what's I'm going on. Off of what he's saying. Okay. Well, I'm not him. Okay. I'm trying to talk to you to help you understand as a parent and know why we're out here and what's going on with the whole situation. Will you let me do that? Okay. So we're a violent crime unit. Okay, we don't pick and choose where we work. We are told by our commanders, by the chief's office, where to patrol, and all that is based off of criminal violence. Specific. Okay, the 18th Street corridor, California Park, Victory Park, Park Hill, these are all neighborhoods that we patrol and we're told to go to these areas and patrol. Okay, that's why, first off, that's why we're here. Okay, okay? I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. I'd hope not. I mean, it's, we're just doing our job to try and make the city a little safer. So so what we do, one of the aspects of what we do is we focus on traffic stops, okay? Right now, you listen to me? Yeah, I'm listening. Okay. Right now, the city has been plagued by gun... I don't want the history. I just want to know why my son... When I say right now, it's not history. I'm telling you what we're doing right now, okay? And I'm trying to just let you understand, but it's like you don't want to hear it. I just want to hear about my son. I know I'm getting kids. to that. I know all of that. I'm getting to that. I'm telling you why your son is being stopped and why he's out of the car, but you're not allowing me to do that. So it's a traffic infraction that he was stopped for, okay? A traffic infraction. I wasn't here, but I asked his ex-wife, I can talk to you, why'd y'all stop it? They did an improper turn, okay? I don't believe that, but okay. Okay. You don't believe it. You weren't here. You didn't see it. You wasn't either. I know. I believe your yeah. guy, and I believe my son. Yeah. So has your son ever made a traffic infraction, do you think? No, he has not. He's never made a traffic infraction. He has not. I bet we can watch him drive five minutes and take out a traffic infraction. I bet you could. I bet you could. Well, yeah. then how can you say, I bet you 
I'm not. I'm not going to debate it. I bet you could because yeah. you're I know the law. I, I know, know the law. I'm an officer of the court too. Okay, well I know then, the law. So you know the traffic violations, the I traffic know, Yes, I do. Then I'm sure you could watch that and pick one out. But that's how we're so going to debate. You could pick one out. I you could make one. I don't make, make anything. I can up. do a U turn. You say I did it too wide. I ain't here for that. Huh? I know that. I know that. We done here. If you want to be done, you can. I'm trying to I help you understand. Sass. I don't need the stats right now. I don't. I don't care. I appreciate y'all being out here for violent yeah. crime. My son's not violent. Nothing. No he one. He run his name. He's never been yeah. to JCYC. Nothing. He got a job. No I one said he was a violent well, crime. Kevin's efforts ended in frustration when he realized that all the hassle he caused was unnecessary. If you don't mind me asking, why do you have like this negative view towards the police? What's the deal? Whatever, what's ever happened in your life personally where you're like, you can give me a good explanation? Absolutely nothing. Really? I graduated. I got a good job. Right. I got graduated with three, four, five right band scholarship. I never did in my life. I've been in the house all day. So what's what's the the problem? Like why are, why are we in this situation? You, huh? you mean we didn't do, we didn't do it. We made a traffic stop for your violation that you did. I know. I don't want to talk. And then you went up here with it, huh? You did the entire time. We don't know who you are. I don't know that you graduated and you got several scholarships and that you have a good job. I mean, I don't know. It's not like I have a x-ray vision that says, oh, this is who's in this car. Right. He's good to go. Uh, if you don't want to hear it, that's fine. You can continue with your negative view towards me, I guess. I just figured I'd try to understand it, but that's fine. Huh? I'll never understand? No, I don't hold no hard feelings against you. I don't take it personal, though, buddy. If I take you out of these handcuffs while he's finishing up, are you going to fight me or run or anything like that? Because initially when we brought you to the back of the car, you are clenching up your fists like you're going to fight or punch or run or whatever. And you've been doing this pacing back and forth thing the entire time. I'll go ahead and take you out of cuffs, but I don't want you to like take off running to your car or fight me. Is that cool? I know you're mad. It is what it is, but I'll take you out of them since they're a little uncomfortable. Is that cool? Huh? You're gonna take me out of them, Is it cool? You gonna you gonna be chill? Yeah, I'm gonna be chill. All right. All right, sir, here's your ID back. All right, you've got court October 2nd for improper training at 7 p.m. I don't know what you have. Do you understand the reason why you stopped? Leah received a citation for improper turn. In 2019, Mr. Leah sued Chef Steve and five officers, including Kevin, for violating his Fourth Amendment rights. By 2021, Officer Crawford had chosen to move to a different department after IMPD dropped its probe. Watch how this man's simple argument over a drink escalated into legal trouble, revealing just how costly losing a temper can be. Well, you have all these customers watching you causing employees to cry over a drink. It's a drink. I There's know. bigger things in life to worry about than a drink that's, a, that's a bitter I, or not. I know. On August 26, 2022, the officers responded to a report of an angry customer at a bubble tea store in Georgia. Upon arriving, the cop talked with the store employee to collect information about the incident. Yeah, what's going on? So, uh, this guy ordered a matcha drink and then apparently it's like too powdery or like, uh, it's like stuck on the bottom. So it made the drink uh, a little more bitter than usual, which it usually isn't. And then he was like really upset. Where are you the 179? And he called, after he left, he called on the phone and he like cursing us in Korean and then just like threatening us. And then well, he said that, uh, I'm gonna come to the store and then you better apologize right now. So he just came in all cursing and stuff, all mad. Chase 74, I'm out with a worker. And he's threatening us in Korean. Okay. Is he in the store now? Yeah, he's right there in there. Purple shirt. I think his glasses, I don't remember. He's in a purple shirt. With the mask? Yeah, black mask.
Hey, sir. Okay. Let's go talk outside, please. Okay. Boys, well, not ready. I'm outside with the sus suspect. <clears throat> yeah. Do my, you speak English? Yeah, my daughter visited. Can you take that down just a little bit, sir? Okay. What's the issue? It's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah. My daughter ordered uh, some and the, uh, brought this to home and we tried. But it's too bitter. Okay, well that's... Very bitter too. It's too bitter to drink. Okay. So my daughter called. As you know, the customer can complain. Do you have your ID on you? Okay. Wait a minute. Sir, I'm going to be honest. How they said, stated you were acting, I don't think that's a way to act over a drink. Juna, do you have your ID? Okay. Sir, uh, sir, do you have your ID on yeah, you? Yeah, my, my daughter will bring. Okay. Over there. My, my, I cannot speak any English very well. So I, my daughter will come. Okay. Wait for five minutes. Okay, please. Uh, we can't wait forever. Okay. We can't wait forever. So what's... How can I help you to resolve this issue? Uh, I'm here and I want, because I want to talk to, I want to talk to manager. What is the problem? Okay. Uh, Just stay right here. Let me see if I can get the yeah, manager. So I brought this to sh show her manager. And uh, I'm, I'm from Korea and the manager can speak in Korean. Uh, so stay right here. Yes, and he is here. Let me get him and see yeah, if he so, speaks. Yeah, I, I okay. explained. Okay. Hey, I, sir, I, sir, I sir, this. Yeah. sir, stay right here. Let yeah, me get him. Here. Stay right here. Okay. As the police attempted to speak with the victim, Beck interrupted the conversation and raised his voice. Are you able to, do you speak English? I do. Okay, so he's, I guess he said that his order was wrong and- I said I would make it for him and he, he, he told me to try it. Okay. I said, I don't need to try it to make it for you. And he tried to throw it at me. He tried to throw it at you? He threw it at me. Did he throw it at you? No, but he went like this telling me to try it. If I don't try it, then he's gonna throw it at me. Okay. Um, is there any way we can just give him his money back and send him on his way? I can definitely do that. Ask, ask him if we can do that. Can we just give you a refund? You, you know the reason why I'm here. You know. I do. And I explained. It was so bitter to drink. I, I said I'll remake I explained. And the, uh, could you take this? Could you try this? I, I no. told her. But she rejected. Hey, first off, there's no reason to act yeah. like this over a drink. You're a grown man. And uh, Act like it. Yeah. I just asked her to check this I don't and need to try it to I want to change it. this. That's it. But so she was so rude. Can you can you can you translate please? See if you can give him his money back and send him on his way. Sir. Okay. Back up. Back up. What did he say? He just told me to drink it. I said, I don't need to drink it to give you a reason. Because she told me and the other guy. I didn't. I'm an old man. 
the only reason why the other guys approached her was because she was threatening me and they they thought I they have a her. right to, as a customer to a complain yeah but you don't have a right to act like this as a grown man you're a grown man so what I what I think we should okay, okay. Uh, yeah, you what I think we should do okay, now, sir, is you should just leave. My daughter is coming and she can explain in English the whole story. Okay, well, I suggest you just leave and 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 call it a night. Yeah, okay. I, because I, there's no reason to act like this over a drink. Yeah, I wanted to just, I wanted the heart to just they're, stack this they're not gonna, the chair. They're not going to drink it. They're, they're okay. not going to drink a customer's drink. So what I su suggest is you just leave. Beck just wouldn't calm down, prompting one of the officers to take control of the situation by issuing an order. But you're acting like a child. But she was a very good and the other guy found me, found me. I'm old, I'm 68 years old. So act. Lower your voice. You're not going to talk to us like that. You understand? I ain't going to put up that I'll take you to jail for disorderly conduct. You, you understand me right Sorry. now? I, I, I cannot understand. Low, lower your voice. No voice. You're not going to okay, talk to okay. us like that. Do you understand me? We're not going to do that tonight. I will take you to jail for disorderly conduct. You're coming here acting like a fool over a drink. Yeah. And you're not going to argue that. Okay, okay. Stop. Okay, okay, okay. Listen to me. Be quiet. Listen, listen no, no, to no, me. No, no. We're, we're done listening to you. Okay, after, after you, okay, I can. You answer, you talk over me one more time, mm -hmm. you're gonna go in the back of my car. Do I make myself clear? My officer sitting there trying to explain something to you. You're not gonna raise your voice at him just because you can't get what you want. Just to, or just Stop. to saying, just Stop. to saying loud is not dumb. You are not gonna come in there and cause a disturbance. Make See, made voice. me crazy like this. But it's See, a dream. Made me upset. You have your ID on you. Give me your ID. Your ID. He your said. License. He says okay. he doesn't have it. His daughter's on the way to bring yeah, it. My my house is over there. I don't care where your house is. I so want... my my daughter is coming. With my purse. What's your last name? Okay, I can. No, what's your last name? Spell it. Back. P A E K. A P A E K. P A E K. Okay, first name. P A E K. D. A -E the last name is B A E K. Write it down. When Beck's daughter and wife arrived, the scenario took an unexpected twist as they explained their side of the story. You find you you need to find out Give her, me her like information. Her D O B and her name. You're not gonna tell me how to do my job. Why? Why? This is the prejudice. I'm pre I'm being prejudiced because I'm asking for your name because you're causing the yes, disturbance. Her. I will get her information. You're okay, not going to tell okay, me how to do please. my job. Okay. Tell, tell your, your father's about this close to go to jail for disorderly conduct. I'm so sorry. He's, he's, getting, he's, he's getting very worked up. Because they're, they're being very rude. Yeah. Okay. They're being very rude at our customer service. Okay. And they were actually over the phone. I was talking to them about how dissatisfied we are with the with the with the service. That's one thing. I mean, so, they, but yeah. you can't come in here causing disturbance, cause people crap. If you I'm don't, so if they're sorry. being rude, then leave. Go someplace else and get something else different. I but know. to come in here and cause a scene yeah. where you have all these customers make, yeah. watching you, causing employees to cry over a drink. It's a drink. I There's know. bigger things in life to worry about than a. Drink that's it's, it's bitter I, or not. I know. Sir, 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 you're really discounting. Then that's, but if, then you go to another location. If I go to a restaurant and they, yeah. they offend me, I'm just gonna not gonna bring my business. I know. There. That's how you handle your problem. And okay. this is but how you can't come into public and then cause a okay. disturbance. Sir, I understand. I understand what you're saying, and I understand that he he was offended. You know, he may seem like really offensive, and you apologize. Okay, but when someone is really worked up, and there's no de-escalation of the problem because they are not apologizing for the service, then we only get really upset. Okay, that, but, but, but he's in, gotta be in charge of his own emotions. Yeah, I if they're know. gonna be rude to him, I know. that's where you just walk I'm, away. I'm so sorry, I'll, I'll go take him and you know, well, we'll he's gonna hold, him down. He's, he's gonna hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. And, hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you just write it down for me, please? Yeah. And then your date of birth as well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
Na name's your last name? And then, uh, just step over there for I can only talk to one person at a time. Like I said, stated earlier, act like a grown man that you are. Okay. And let me okay. stop! Talking. I'm I'm talk to, to my daughter to translate. Okay. 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 okay so Actually, how about you walk him over there? Yeah, I will and, do that. I'll do that. And then you come back when he's ready to to act like a grown man. The matter continued to grow more complex, and efforts were made to find a middle ground to resolve the issue. So did y'all offer to give money back or anything? He didn't give me a chance to say anything. All I said was, if you don't like it, I can make you a new drink. And that and that's really understandable, especially coming from a place that serves drinks. Yeah, and, and he said, no, you have to try it. I said, I don't want to try it. Like, and he, he was trying to throw it at me, started yelling. But we didn't get a chance to offer him a refund or any alternative. Is there any other person, people inside? Do you have security cameras or anything in that? We or? have cameras. Okay. Is there anybody else, working? anybody else working during this time that we saw all this? Oh yeah, the other employees right now. I'm so sorry that this caused a lot of ruckus. But honestly, from you guys, we need an apology too. You guys said, I'm hearing from my dad that you guys said F words. You guys were offending him deeply. I talked to you on the phone and the other guy who was not, who was very far from apologizing for the service, who actually said, oh, I'm losing my and walked he away. That. Yes, he did. yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, I wish there. I recorded. I heard it. I heard him very clearly. And, did you and it's okay. You know him? what? You know what, though? This doesn't matter anymore. I just want this to end. But it was very offensive. And honestly, I'm never coming back here for any bu a bubble tea. Did, did and you just you said to me was offensive. Do you know what your dad called me? Well, you guys said. Do you, you know why? That's not, uh, like, this you know why they had to step in? Your dad threatened to throw the drinks at me. That, you think that's okay? He went like this to me, went closer to me. That's why they stepped in, they stepped back. Okay, I, I'm so sorry about that. That must have really surprised me. I'm, I'm really I, okay. Sorry. I'm sorry that you have to go through it, but then yeah. this is not worth hurting my mental health either. Yeah, See, but... he said, how the heck am I going to live this world? Like, is that really what you have to say over a drink? I get that you guys are offended, but we could have done this a better way. A way how mo normal business would handle okay. it. Yeah. Giving a refund, replacing a drink. We, had all these we have cameras. Mm -hmm. I can show you mm -hmm. cameras. I suggest you take your dad over to that end. Okay, but I think I also need yeah. have a place to explain my. I suggest y'all go over there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And, and and the daughter seems real adamant about you need to apologize to us or anything. Once it's said and done, I wouldn't even say another word. I've already apologized really, so many times. Really, you don't have to. There's no reason for a grown ass man to act like this over a drink. I only apologize for making the drink not the way that they wanted it, but we have no choice. We're franchise. Yeah. We have to follow the rules. And I'm sorry if they don't like it, but this is not worth calling me names and threatening me. I don't. I don't know why. After speaking with the witness, the officer outlined the next steps, and Beck realized he was in for some trouble. Basically, his, we made him a drink, right? Mm -hmm. And his daughter like, and him picked it up. Yeah. Yeah. The, like, so they're complaining about it being bitter or whatever, but they got it with no ice, whatever. That's just, you know. And then um, his daughter calls in, they're like, getting like, like, you know, kind of aggressive over the phone. So I was just like, okay, whatever. I wasn't dealing with it. I gave it to the manager. She was also yelling at the manager. Oh, wow, they said they were going to come in. I was like, okay, whatever. Then he comes in and then he attempts, like, he made it look like he was going to throw the drink at her. So I was just like, hey, bro, like, chill out. You know, get my guy in front of her. You know, and I walked around. I was trying to tell him to leave. He wasn't leaving. He was throwing a fit. And then I tried to call you guys. Okay. So here's a couple things. One, you're getting a ticket for disorderly conduct. Uh, I need a translation. Okay. Okay. He's getting a citation for disorderly conduct. Okay. He has a, con uh, a court date at the 17th of October at 9 a.m. at the Lutheran Municipal Court. The address is listed at the bottom. It is a mandatory court date, so make sure he shows up for that court date. If he doesn't, they'll issue a warrant for his arrest. Okay. All right. I just need him to sign here by this X. It's not a mission of guilt. Just saying you're receiving a citation. I'm explaining the citation to you. <laughs> It's just him who's showing up there? Yes. 
Well, well, so what they'll do is they're going to, so he's going to have a court date. He'll have to talk to the solicitor. And if he wants to plead not guilty, then they'll set a trial date okay. for him. And then they'll bring in okay. everybody. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to talk, mm -hmm. I'm talk, I've talked to all the other employees. I'm going to go in there and talk to the other customers because yeah. there's a couple things that he did really wrong. One is in there acting crazy over drink. Second of all, several people saw him lift that drink up like he was going to throw it. That's simple assault. So he could go to jail for that if they wanted to press charges. Okay. okay. So he's only getting a ticket for it tonight, okay? For disorderly conduct. Like I said, he just needs to sign here, show up to his court date, talk to the solicitor, and then he'll decide, you know, if you need an interpreter, if you need to go, or they'll provide an interpreter for him if he needs one, okay? So I just need him to sign right there for me. <laughs> What about those those male employees and who are trying to charge at him? Okay. Yeah. What about them? Okay. So they're rightful representatives up there. Okay. The yeah. fact is, they said that they saw him pick up a drink, act like he's going to chuck it at him. They mm -hmm. stepped in front of him because of the way he yeah. was acting in there and telling him he needed to leave. He refused to leave. That's the same thing we got when we got uh, called. Okay. I'm going to also talk to all the other witnesses that are in there. So. Yeah. So they'll come to court. I got all their information, so they'll come to court if he wants to have a trial for it. Okay. Right. We're, we're not, we're not going to discuss the, yeah. any more of this. I'm not going to have cold court here. I just need him to sign the citation to say I understand yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I see. Okay, okay. okay. Well, sir, you, you are really not giving us opportunity to speak to ourselves. Well, I, we and speak I there, but it's the... really unfair. I'm just saying it out there. Okay, well, In I... the future, I think to other people, I think you should be a little more fair. Well, the problem you're, is, you're is we're trying to explore. Yeah. 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 It's actually what court is for, is to speak yeah. about it at court. So, like I like Sergeant Miles say, this is, ma'am, ma'am. I'm a physician, I'm a doctor, I know what okay. the court does. Oh, okay. You okay. Have to teach me. So, oh, I'm not teaching, I'm explaining. Yes. So, it's okay. speak it's with us at court. Okay. Well, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of conversation she she before you got here. Yeah. Sung Baek was cited for disorderly conduct. In a jaw-dropping traffic stop, this police chief's explosive reaction reveals a startling clash between authority and accountability. I'm trying to talk with you. I don't want to talk anymore about it. All right. On August 26, 2022, Zebulon Police Chief Jonathan Hemphill was pulled over at a traffic stop by officers in the neighboring city of Molina. During the stop, the police initially had difficulty verifying the vehicle's registration, but Jonathan made things chaotic with the female officer. No, yeah, no, sir. Uh, the reason why we're stopping you is well, because it's a wind intent violation. I blinked my blue lights at you to let you know who I was. Yes, sir. Well, we didn't know with it, you know, that's not a government tag. That is, so an, that is a unofficial tag. Okay. That, that tag's not even on file. I see. Yeah, it's, well, we have to catch up the bill to run it and everything like that, sir. So, so I won't blink my blue lights at you next time. I'll let well, you just sit there. I was just speaking. I'm the police chief in Zebra. Well, nice to meet you, sir. Matt, Matt Polk worked for me. Your I chief worked for me. Yes, sir. There's no need to get upset. I, I'm, I'm, I'm upset because I spoke to you when I come by, and now right. you're pulling me sir, over. Sir, I've never met you damn in my life. I understand Why that. Why are you being hostile? Easy. I don't, I don't have to talk to you. Okay. I'm not, I'm not talking to you. Why are you being hostile right we're, now? Do, do are y'all going to write me a ticket? Are you going to write me a ticket? Sir, we're just trying. I'm the police chief in Do you want to write me a ticket? Why are you coming up to me you like that? I'm doing my job, right? right? What are you stopping for? Okay, you know how many uh, officers have blue lights? Are you writing me a ticket? Yes or no? I'm conducting my business. Are you writing me a ticket? I'm fixing to leave. Do you have a driver's license? Sir, I have my driver's license. Hello, Riley. I'm fixing to make it a whole lot more. Your boss works. 11 11. I'm out here building it. Just occurring, Bravo Frank Mike 1175 BFM 1175. Yeah, that's right. I was explaining. I don't want to hear that. Okay. The cop attempted to calm Jonathan and explain the situation, but he escalated the situation further. 11, 8, 11, 11. Make sure you're recording. Yeah. What? She's about bringing your driver's license All back right. up. That's fine. Yeah. 
Uh, first when we ran the, the tag, it came back to like a Dodge Ram, so we're just confirming Yes, sir. It's, it's a ghost tag. Yes, sir. We're you must have sure run it wrong. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're just. You must have run it wrong. You must have run it wrong because you want to come back to a Dodge no, Ram. We, we were confirmed. They, they, they let us know everything. Everything. So, so it's still coming back to a Dodge Ram now, sir. Can, can I ask why you're so uh, upset? Is it still coming back to a Dodge Ram? No, now? We, we got it fixed. Why are you so upset? No, you didn't fix it. Did is it still right. coming back to a Dodge Ram right now? No, it came back not on five. That's right. Because okay. you run it wrong, sir. Somebody about, run it wrong. Either to, you did or they did. We're about to get the information. Okay, and get I got your to chief you. on the phone right now. That's yes, fine. Sir, That's fine. That's fine. Can you calm down for us, please? I appreciate your service. I appreciate your service. All right. I'm just saying, I spoke to you guys. I didn't have to do that. I could have eased on by y'all. I appreciate the job y'all out here doing. Chief, I I'm trying to be respectful with you. I understand okay? that. I understand I'm not, that. I'm not raising my voice. I understand that. Right? I understand All that. right. Let's but I'm trying man, to tell you, one the one. only okay. thing I done wrong was spoke. Y'all never would have pulled me over if I had to flick my blue lights No, you. sir. No, we were going to pull you over. I'm no, not going to lie to you. I'm no, telling you, you straight up. Okay. okay. All right. But. Like I said, you know, there's people out here in Purse State Police Officer with blue lights. Well, you threw my or she threw my license. If she is getting them for me, she'll bring it to you, sir. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm just Pray trying to, to I'm trying to talk with you. I don't want to talk anymore about it. All righty. That's very unprofessional. The police did not press any charges against Jonathan. Brace yourself for an electrifying showdown where this man's attitude collides with a tough cop. I'm gonna tase you now. Get down on the ground. Down on the ground. Down on the ground. On November 5th, 2023, Key West police responded to a report of a suspicious vehicle with a sleeping driver. The officers attempted to wake the driver, who refused to comply and became confrontational, escalating the situation. Key West police, wake up. Wake up, Key West police. Good morning. Key West police, wake up. Wake up, Key West police. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Wake up. Wake up. U.S. Police, wake up. Guys, we're out. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Wake up. Wake up. U.S. Police, wake up. Guys, we're out. Hello, wake up. Wake up. Sir. Wake up. Morning. U.S. Police, wake up. How you doing? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Key West Police, wake up. Wake up, come on. Wake up. Wake up, Key West Police. Key West Police, wake up. 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 Wake up. Wake up. Yo. Wake up. Hi, how you doing? Wake up. Wake up. What's your friend's name? Can you wake up too? Yo. Wake up. We got called because you're outside the Kia. The owner of Kia called. Wake up. You got ID? Key West Police, wake up. Wake up. Key West Police. Police, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. You don't hit me. You don't push me. Key West Police, wake up. You're trespassing on private property. You're going to get tased, sir. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Don't push me. Hands behind your back now. Hands behind your back now. To stop William, the cops used a teaser, and William's tough demeanor met its match. Hands behind your back now. Sir. Taser. I'm gonna tase you now. Get down Sir. on the ground. Down on the ground. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Turn around, get on your belly, put your hands behind your back. Get on your belly, put your hands behind your back. Get on your belly, put your hands behind your back. Roll over. Thank you. 
Sir, we're out with two one tase. The easiest thing would have been to wake up, provide your ID, and leave. Not fight against what we're doing. No, no, but I don't get to push an officer. Do you own Kia? You don't get to push me and walk away. Is this your property? Do you? This is somebody's property. The general manager of this property called us to come here. You don't belong here. That's trespassing. You taking any drugs or anything today? No, I don't think you've been drinking. This is my thing. Officer, officer, relax. We, we, we're not trying. We, we're not. We're, officer, officer, please. Can you, can, look, this is the same thing that just happened. Can y'all please relax? Can y'all please relax? Can y'all please relax? I got his ID already. Let me see your left hand. All right, sir. No, no, don't resist. You taking any further? Let's go. Okay, get out of the car. Step out. Out. Get out of the car. You're not under arrest. You're being detained to make the off the scene safe. Bruh, stop. Just cooperate with us. And if everything's good, you'll be on your way. I got it. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? He's not looking for it. He's not looking for it. No. Copy. You're being detained. Man, all right, bro. All right, all right, all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I know my right, bro. I know my right, bro. I know my right. What do you want to say? Do we get his idea? Ain't none, bro. I got it. Of course, yeah, the car. Right, yeah, he asked you to get out first. What I do, man? Okay. I was slowly so, getting up. So you're under arrest right. for man, battery man, on the police officer. Man, the man grabbed me and all type of shit, man. You pushed me out of the way when you were getting out of the car. Then you refused to stop. And then you refused to stop, so you're being charged with resisting. Can I pull up hands up? I'm trying to tell you, I ain't here. The law enforcer spoke with the manager to get a clear understanding, and William faced the legal consequences. I'm one of the managers out here. Yeah, you're the one that called us? Correct, I, my, or? I called my general manager, okay. my GM. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just I was doing a little working out. And I okay. saw the guy's foot out. I leaned in. I didn't touch anything. Yeah. I, in. I was like, hey, wake up. Yeah. They didn't react. So I called my GM. That's what he wanted to do. And he called us. Yes. Okay. He said he can come down here. He's got a little bit of Up to your chest. He's up to your chest. Lean forward. Okay. There we go. All right. One, two, three. Okay. The broken glass. Oh no no oh oh my my vape. Oh okay. My That's vape. probably what it was. Right. Your vape was in your pocket. Oh yeah. Yep. All right. Have a seat. All right. All right. Okay, man. Look, man. Because right. this is the hold on, man. Before you want to so y'all go extra uh, direct or anything else right. on me, man. All right. So look, I got, I, I, I feel the same way about my mo safety. Like, all right. Okay. Well, you got your seatbelt on. All right. So cool. But yeah, he was talking about the glass. Well, hold on. I'm gonna ask you some questions, but I gotta read you your rights first. Okay. Just wait. Let me read them to you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. So, what were you doing in the parking lot here? You were sleeping. Why were you sleeping here in the in the a parking lot? You came from where? Okay. Because I haven't been down here. All right. So, uh, I know I could make you or anything. Did you have permission from the owners to sleep on their property? No? Okay. All right. Not, not that part. You know what I'm saying? So what, when oh, I woke on, you... Man. So hold on. Hold on. When I woke man, you up... Can, can you please... Can you please stop? 
No, I'm asking the question. I understand that, but I'm okay, saying I have that to... if you would stop, then you would understand what the hell is going on. All right, say what so you have to say. I don't know. Stop. Because I told him, man, look, man, I was just trying to go to sleep. I understand what the hell is going on, but I understand where the hell I was at. I get it. And I told him that. Okay, but this still, you're still responsible for your actions. You were detained. He's going to jail. Oh. So would I have to uh, go to the station or whatever? No, um, the jail is out on College Road, but they have to process him and then he'll get a phone call. So I'm sure he'll contact you and he's able to, he has to do first appearance. So he's gonna be in there 24 hour minimum. And then when he's done with first appearance, judge sets a bond, he can bond out, and then if you wanna pick him up then, you can do that. Williams was charged with resisting arrest. When ignoring a child's fight turns into a legal battle, Discover the consequences of how this parent overlooked the little things. Man, everything. Okay, what you so mean? He's stealing in our house like a m He just broke up all that stuff last night. On March 23rd, 2024, the officers responded to a local apartment complex for a domestic dispute report. The police arrived at the address, gathered information, and stumbled upon a strange discovery. You forget to do. I think I'm help there. How about you put up 1097? I didn't. No, you didn't. Again. You keep thinking that you're saying it out loud, but you're just thinking about doing it and put it on for you. Huh? Oh, that made me speak up, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you get caught? No. No, we have a chance. You don't live in a park? I don't know, because I didn't call. Was there a tussle or something that happened? Yeah, the kids I had altercation. Okay, where they are they? One right there, another one in the house. One's right here, this back? Yeah, that's uh -huh. the kid. Okay. okay. The other and the kid, house? my stepson, in the house. Did you just talk to him? Go get him. Thank you. Oh, that's a whole spot. Yeah, that's a whole spot. Uh, Ramirez, what are you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he set up a perimeter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he set up a perimeter like he could have given me. Are you guys brothers? Yeah. What's your relationship? That's my son. Who is, who is he to you? Yeah. Who was the one in there to you? Friends, they're friends. They're just friends? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what did they call and say? What's up, man? What happened to you? With who? Can you roll up your sleeves? That's your blood all over it. That's his father right here. His father and his So you got, you got in a fight with a neighbor over what? Okay. My stepdad, well, not even my stepdad, my mom's boyfriend, she came, he came in there like ripping down the curtains while I'm in there laying down. And I ended up pinning back up. He started like trying to grab it from me, so I pushed him off and that's when he said, I'm the only one call the neighbors come down here with me because I just saw him a couple of days ago. Your mom's boyfriend? Yeah, no, not my mom's boyfriend, the neighbor. Um, no, 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 but your mom's boyfriend arranged this? Yeah. Where is he at, man? Right there with the white um, tank top. And you fought who? One of the guys over there? Yeah. In a black jacket? Is, what house does that kid live in? The second one from last time. Who started the fight? Well, I'm just saying that list. But this list is because you know she threw the ball. Okay. What did you guys argue about? What was the song? As the conversation went on, it became clear that the parents' poor parenting allowed their children to become involved in such situations. Sometimes I wish we could. But I'm gonna tell you like this here. He's putting his hands on his parents. 
This kid? Yes, he put his hands on his mother, okay. but his hands on me. I'm his stepdad. Okay. okay? He's he being abusive to us. Okay. So when it comes to the outside, he can't stand up to this stuff. Right. You understand me? We're dealing with DCF. He doesn't stop going to therapy every Wednesday. He don't want no help for himself. Okay, we trying to get help for him. And she's and this one right here, we ready to hear what she got to say. Y'all gonna have to call the phone. So she already done been out here. Like she done I said, been out here. I got Detective Lopez told me about her. I don't want to really, really be dealt up with her. Okay. Because she well, don't have a DCF on chance. me and my kids. Yes, they never been upset because she look at things one way and I don't like that. Because yeah. it's about the truth and the the right. I had a call one day and it had nothing to do with her. She do the most. And she asked my daughter for Juan's information. Mm -hmm. yes. And he's a he's a child. A no, she's a minor. She's a minor. Yeah, she's a minor. My daughter. She's a minor. She's allowed to. She's not conducting an interview or, a, or a interrogation. Law only protects if we are conducting some form of formal custodial interview that a parent has to be present. But she is absolutely allowed to ask for the information. Now, would it have been respectful to run it by an adult? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I wasn't there. I don't have the circumstances. Right. But just for informational purposes, it is not illegal. Just maybe uh, for tapes. Um, it, it, and the reason why I'm bringing it up is because I needed help. Mm -hmm. And she right. wasn't from that. Sure. No, I understand. So that's okay. Real quick. Where do you live? Over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And he lives in here. Mm -hmm. And that's your son so, and stepdad. Yeah. So if there is issues of him putting his hands on either of you, do you all call us to let us know that this is happening? Yes, I done called, baby. You can check our reports. We've okay. been calling and calling. I got two wonderful officers. Yeah. Who, I got their cell phone numbers and they yeah. try to do a little bit, yeah. but they can only do so much. Has he ever been formally diagnosed with any type of oppositional defiance health. disorder? I got a baby in the therapy said yes, like he that. has a defiance disorder, but okay. he doesn't want any help about it. Have they put medication, him on medication? No, nah, like I wasn't that? trying to go that far. I wasn't trying to put him on no medication. Understandable. Understandable. But me going to therapy, yeah, we done tried that. He done missed three sessions this week. Okay. So the lady's like, you know, she got to close the case out because right. he's not doing his part. Right. So it's only so much people can do. Right. Right. Has he ever yes, made we call all the time. Harm himself. No. Okay. He ain't going to harm himself. Yeah. That's the wrong thing. He want to harm. He wants to harm us. Right. I want to harm himself. That's the truth. Yeah. And obviously, there's other children in the home. Those two. Yes. Okay. Little brothers. No, not, so not the one in the red. He has, the little one is six, and he has two teenage sisters. Okay. So, obviously, little ones that look up to him. Yes. That we don't course. want to repeat the behavior. Exactly. That's what we try not to do. Understandable. For sure. So, okay. Well, just while we're here, go ahead and get this young man's information, date of birth, and then the guardian's information, which would be the same lady right here. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. First and last thing, please. Okay. Call the thing, the local hands call, or what you call it, call it. It's Saturday. I'm going to call you Monday. Like, huh? I don't really have that nice to say to her, but she already I'm gonna call looking Monday. at shit one way, though. So. Did Detective Lopez come out for something similar? Yeah, huh? he always. He's been in one of been out on lunch dates and all types of shit. He's trying to talk to him, trying to get his life on track, but he just don't want to do it. Is there any programs in school? No, don't want to be there. We just switched to school. He he wants to do school with his brain right now. Because he got so many else he's doing. He's doing school and it's a lie. Okay. I'm trying to get him into any kind of program. Something that's going to make his mind work. Do right. Exactly. After all the commotion, the victim chose not to press charges. But the cops could not ignore the child's endangerment. And we're conducting a criminal investigation. We're allowed to separate you from the children and get their statement without you inhibiting what uh, they're telling us. So it's but not nobody's not saying that to let me know what's going on. That's we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna listen. We're gonna be up front with you and let you know everything, okay? But it's part of the process, all right? Um, we're just trying to get an untainted statement to the kids as to what happened, all right? So we can just walk down, back down there with my partner. Okay, okay. Do you want to press charges against KK for fighting you? No. I just wanted to like, see if my nose is good and my lip. That's all I really want. I don't want to press charges. Okay. Okay. You can only do one thing at a time. Yes, so, I understand. Fighting is fighting. I understand that part. Okay. All right. Well, it looks no, fine. Well, it looks fine. 
Oh, what? What? Thank you. So these, these two officers will answer any questions that you have. It's their case. Um. No, she's got to get my phone. Get my keys, Miss Aldrin. So you say that, um. Give, Y'all take a bubble. Call, call TT real quick. Can okay. she just call my Which office real quick? Open the phone, please. This one is dead, so this one's Can I open it? I'm not going nowhere. Just open it. This one? Yes, let me open it. Is it a thumb or a face thing? Yeah, just gotta open it. That's what I'm trying to call now. Do you have a family that you can't call? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to call. My phone okay. did. All right. So we'll give you an opportunity to do that. I'm going to explain everything to you in a second, okay. and I want to secure in the truck, and we can talk, all right? Um, I'm this what it was going to take, though. Somebody. Jesus. What's up with We're going to figure that out. Okay, so right now, as it stands, you are being arrested for child abuse and child neglect, okay? In reference to the situation that just occurred with your son, right? That was wearing the Jets jacket, okay? So, yourself, as long, and also is that the father of yeah. the other two kids, right? Yeah, the third. Okay, so both of you guys will be charged and arrested with the same charges, okay? Child neglect, so, come on, child man. Child neglect, yeah, so at this time, you two are being detained, placed in the back of the car. We're gonna, if you can, we're gonna see if we can get family that's able to come and take possession of the kids or watch the kids. But at the end of the day, DCF is gonna be notified and they're gonna have to make they the final determination in reference to that. Yeah, but that's this is a totally different this incident. Is. This is a totally different incident, okay? So they have to coordinate who the kids go to. We deal with the criminal aspect of the investigation, all right? And I'll explain more of that to you when we're at booking, but I won't do it right here. But as far as letting you know what you're being detained and ultimately arrested for, that's what I'm letting you know right now, okay? So I'm gonna turn the AC on for you and just gonna have to hang tight, all right? While we figure this out. When the officer detained the man, he erupted into a heated argument, baffled about why he was being held. So behind this whole fight between those two, because obviously you know you can't put your hands on him. That's clear. So exactly. So what? How would y'all mean so that? The fact that you, but the fact that you called him over there, in the eyes of the law, fight him is illegal. That's yeah. No parties, you know, said that, that you hit him, him or that no you, you physically hit exactly. him. Exactly. So and, how is and it that's neglect? Not what you're but y'all, so for. all this, this that been coming out that he been bad. he been putting his hands on us. Right. And nobody ain't doing nothing. Okay, so, so, oh my! So you're just now saying that you didn't say that before. What you mean? So We've been saying that. I know, but you said in the past. Today, though. Today he punched me. That's what I said. Okay. You didn't hear nothing I said. I Look in my mouth. Take pictures. Yeah, we're gonna take pictures. Said. Take pictures Wait, of me like too. Like I said, you're not being arrested for you physically hitting him, hurting him. That's not what you're being arrested for. For child neglect. For encouraging him to get beat up in his own room. Okay. <sighs> Beside your cell phone, you got anything else on you? Um, I know you got your glasses. Hold on. Mary! Come here! Mary! Is that your daughter? Yes. What else do you want? We can talk about it. So, when it's known to take your guys' stuff? Man, everything! Okay, what you so mean? He's stealing in our house like a He just broke up all that stuff last night. This is what I'm trying to tell my wife. She should be calling every time. I but the police it. ain't doing shit. This is ridiculous. He just swung on me this morning, but all of a sudden it's just a big deal. Like this shit is crazy. In the back of the police car. My fucking baby bro seeing this shit, bro. This shit is wrong, bro. This shit is wrong, my nigga. Straight up. I want to press charges on him too for putting put, put his hands on me. This just happened today too. So what we do about this? One second. What else did you want to grab from her? Neri. Neri. My wallet. Lock my room door. Lock mommy room door. Get her purse. All of that stuff. TT, it's coming. Okay. Oh. So, Take your seat, I just talked to my partner. 
Okay. And you definitively said just now that hit you in the face. In my eyes, that's domestic violence. It's domestic battery. Okay. What backs that up is the gentleman in the black shirt, the young kid that we got in a fight with, also told me that he punched you in the face. But when you were going off earlier about him being physical, you didn't make it seem like it happened. Well, let me finish, please. please oh, no, please, I'm please. not going to. I want you You didn't to make it seem like definitively that it happened today. Oh, so, no, it happened so this morning. Everything happened saying, this morning. Okay. If you are saying that during this altercation with a fight between me and him, if he if, if hit you in the face and then you said handle him, the fact that he hit you in the face yeah. to me is domestic battery and that is enough for me to affect an arrest on it is the truth. Battery. It is true. So the reason why, essentially, this is what I'm gathering. Yes. The reason why you told him to handle was because we hit you. He in pushed the face. my wife this way. But see, y'all didn't get to talk to us. Like okay. I said, we just went. We smacking for y'all to come talk to us. Y'all didn't come talk to us yet. Okay. okay let's be honest. Well, they're what? doing. They're doing that investigation. I'm okay. gonna take over the domestic. Yes. Uh, yes. I want it to be done because he hit me. Punched okay. me in my face. Okay. My daughter, they don't even see him. And this was me. right before the fight. Right before the fight. That's why the boy okay. came. Okay. Okay. So, I said, yeah. my thing is with you. Let me be honest with you. You want to fight your parents. Why you cannot fight a child out there, then? Your age. Right. Why you want me to put my hands on you? Yeah. I'm not doing that. Okay. I'm not going to jail for so, no bullshit. Are you HQ with, with both of them? Mm -hmm. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay. I am going to probably go over there and arrest him for domestic battery on you, right? Yes. I have to take him. I'm going to have to get sworn statements from you guys as victims, do the whole domestic yes. attack and all of that jazz, yes. okay? But I want you to know that you're, what you're saying about him battering you does not fall upon deaf ears. I am It's not. It's, it's no problem, I'm, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do what I'm going to do. I want you to know that we're being fair and impartial. That's all, okay? Mm, so no I know problem. you've had bad interactions with Officer Cachezo. I hope that's not the case with us. But please understand that just under I'm, the eyes of the law, under the law, you're doing, you doing what you're supposed to. I, okay? I'm not being disrespectful. No, I'm going to understand you guys. But like I say, he needs to be charged. Take pictures of me too. The law enforcer searched the minor and decided to take him to the detention center for further care and oversight. And open up a separate call for a 38 between the father and the son. And I will have a juvenile 1015. Should I start another video? So label it? he's going to be under arrest. Yep. So we need to go back in the house now. I, I, yeah. The okay. police officer took him in. Okay. Conchaso, I need one out here. It's okay if I keep him in the same game? Yeah. Put your hands together. I can fit two fingers in them, okay? I'm not trying to hurt you at all, all right? And then go put him in our car. I'm gonna walk this way, all right? Make sure you serve him. Yes, ma'am. All right, we're gonna go to the Explorer all the way in the back. You're gonna lean up against the door, all right? Juan, no no you got anything on you? You have your phone, anything else? I got AirPods and a lighter. Okay, okay you got AirPods and a lighter? All right, I'm gonna make sure that goes with you. So lean up on the car, stomach on the car. All right, spread your feet. Alright. You have anything on you? Any contraband, drugs, anything like that? Needles? No. Okay. I'm gonna take a video. Alright. No ma'am. Do you have a shirt on underneath? Yeah, he's got a yeah. shirt. Oh, but he's already got the costume. No, you can have Go ahead and unzip this one. It's just a pullover. It's got what? Oh, it's, it's just a pullover? pullover. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
but he's got another shirt underneath. Right. Yeah. So let's pull his one arm out there. Here, take this arm out. Yeah, you pull it off. I'm gonna leave this cuff. Just use your hand and get that off. Go ahead, you can use this hand, buddy. Hold on, you know what? Hold on, hold on. The man and woman were charged with child endangerment, and the minor was sent to a juvenile facility. Witness how this man's criminal empire crumbled when his attempts to bribe police went terribly wrong. Back up with him. Back up with him. I am. Well, I can back, back up with him. You. Back up with him. I'm not going to get no trouble. I ain't doing that. No, listen. You can't stay here. That was saying he just, just asked you to back up. Yeah, just saying that. He's my brother. We're going to stay right here, though. You can watch. On March 31st, 2022, the FBI and local law enforcement were dispatched to conduct a warranted arrest of a man. When the police approached the man, he attempted to flee upon spotting them. And what happened next quickly turned into an intense confrontation. So he's facing us. He's facing us. He's facing, you see him? Yeah. Police, put your hands up! Put your hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Taser, taser, taser! Get on the ground! Do not move! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Do it now! Put your hands behind your back! Don't move. 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 Look, my hand. I'm just talking. Just talking. You can talk without moving, dude. Yes, sir. What's the problem, sir? Can I ask you what's the problem? I'm not moving. from the police, man. That's the problem right now. I'm probably asking about him. Help him get that started. Don't come to talk. It's down. It's down, sir. It's down. 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 You got some gloves on you to pull these probes out. Can you please get me off the ground? We're gonna get I'm out. Running, I'm out okay. running, what we gonna do? Listen to me. What we gonna do? We're gonna get that out your arm. We're gonna get you up, okay? Come on. Just gonna get uh, one more vehicle. Hey, okay. EMS. And uh, EMS, please, for taser deployment. Please, yeah, hold on just a second, man. I'm not even doing that. Just hold on. Let's be cool for a second. I don't give a damn if you don't give me out of the ground. My heart hurt, man. Hey, relax, man. Stop on, trying to hyperventilate yourself. Come on, come on, come on. You were just talking to me. You were just talking to me. All right, sit him up. Sit him up. You want to act like that? Sit him up. Sit him up. Sit up. Sit up, man. Let's get him in the car. Where's the mark? Hey, let's throw him in yours and get him out of here first. Why don't you all sit in the back with him? Hey, bring your feet up, man. Bring your knees up. Stand up for me. All right? I'm gonna get you all the ground. Come on. There you go. We're taking it. No, we're bringing him to the mark car. Over here. Over here. Come on, man. Come on. A little bit of pain compliance if you have. Go ahead and get him. I need some. You're gonna sit down in the car. Get up, Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. We'll get you the help. Sit down. We'll get you the help. Can you, can you give me some air, please? please. You're gonna get some air. Put your feet I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. David, do you have the pr pro yeah, it's puller? It's I'm gonna take him with All right. <clears throat> um. All right. He's got one in his shoe and then one in his arm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take him to Ambeds. I'll pull those and we'll get you. Hey. Somebody gonna ride with him? Yeah. All right. Ride with I'm not, I'm not. Justin's right here. Stay right there. Back a little bit. Slide up. What's going on, Justin? Slide back. Slide back. Slide back. Ride with Justin. Yeah. Um, you got that thing to put your pros out. Yeah, we'll do that. We gotta get off. Put your. Yeah, I gotta get off. Here, we can get off the X and do that. He's not in any kind of medical emergency. We gotta get him out of there. Go to church. I'm gonna get an ambulance. That's okay, Bri. I gotta bring Kaiser, bro. Now I have EMS coming. Yeah, that's fine. Let me EMS meet you at church. Yeah, let's just get him off here. Gotta get off. Let me EMS meet you at church. I'll follow you up there. Oh. It's gonna be your riding buddy, man. We're gonna get you some help. We're gonna get you some help, man. We're gonna get you some help. My shit. Your chest hurt. It's all right. We, it's breathe. Hey, Dave, let the windows down back here for me. While transporting the suspect, he began having trouble breathing, which quickly escalated. 
but the cops quickly tried to manage it. We're gonna get you medical. We're gonna get you some medical. We're gonna get you some medical. Just, just, just hold on. Just hold on, man. It's all right. It's all right. Let's breathe. Let's breathe. Back up with him. Back up with him. I am. Well, I can back up with him. You. Back up with him. I'm not going to get no trouble. I ain't doing that. You don't say he just asked you to back up. Yeah, just stand up. This is my brother. We're going to stay right here, though. You can watch. But let's just sit back. Like, they can lock you up. That way you can see what's What they going to lock me up for? That's not our goal. They ain't locked me up for nothing. We're not trying to do that. I'm trying to do this. He's being extra, though. Just, just, yeah, just, yeah, 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 well, I can't get those barbs out of you if you don't sit up. It's on. Hey, it's on. It's gonna be on his legs. I got an ambulance coming, bro. It's gonna be on his legs. Get on the other side. It's one in his foot and one in somewhere else. You gotta sit up so I can come around and get that door open. Hey, Fox. Yeah. Go open that other door. Yeah, I got you. All right, man. We're gonna get these barbs out of you. All right. I got an ambulance coming up. I got you. I don't care about my. We go. We gonna get it out. Hell. All right, there's one. Let's see what's hey, in his shoes. Uh, see your foot, yeah. Let me see your foot, man. There we go. That's one didn't even. Yeah. There we go. You found it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Ah, see, yeah, it's in him. All right, pull it out, all right? Yeah, you just got to jerk up. There we go. All right, you're good, man. It's gonna be all right. Let me get all the strings out. Why are you trying to lay down? Yeah, this, you're gonna make it hard to breathe, and you're gonna hurt your hand. Hang on, let me have him sit up. I'm gonna grab the the bar from out of there too. So just hold on to him. Sit up and let us help you, bro. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Calm down. That's why you got to actually put some effort in the seat. Come on, let us help you, bro. Calm down. Yeah, you're going to go to the hospital. Oh, oh, oh. Is there another one? I don't know. He won't sit up. All right. Why don't you sit up? Sit up. Oh, sit, here. Here. sit up. Let we still need to search it. Sit up. Sit up, man. Sit up. Sit up. Come on, now. Sit up. There's another string somewhere. I don't know where. Come on, let us get this stuff off. Yeah. No more okay, cool. All right. All right, sit up, man. You can't breathe like that. I need you to sit up for me. Yeah, you said like your chest hurt, and you got to sit up for me. Hey. Hey, man. Hey, sit up for me, bro. There you go. You're good. You're good. Just breathe. Hey, breathe. You got to sit up, man. You got to sit up. You were just talking to me a minute ago. Sit up. I'm right here. Sit up, man. Come on now. Before he gets on a stretcher, Foggy. Yeah. Let's just start getting his pockets in. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bag. There you go. Um, hey, sit up on me, bro. There you go. Clean up. There you go. Sit on up. Sit on up. Doing good. Come on now. Come on. Sit on up. Sit on up. There you go. Got to get him. Got to get him long. It's time to breathe, there bro. You go. Come on. There you go. Sit on up now. The man continued to show no signs of improvement, leading the officer to call for additional help to address the worsening situation. Come on, you gotta stand up. Stand man. up, man. Come on. Come on, Doc. Come on now. Stand up. Yeah, he probably ate some dope. Lay him down on his back? Yeah. Let's go well, on, let's. All right, we'll lay you down. It's gonna hurt your hand. Right. Start checking for vitals, and I'm gonna grab my Narcan. Yeah. Just let him lay down. Yeah. Get him in the recovery position. Right. Yep. I got you. Yeah, you guys check vitals, and I'm probably just gonna hit him with Narcan. All right. Love throwing one, son. Head up, man. Just make no way I would. Uh, living hope. We got him out of the car. 
probably ate something. We're gonna give him Narcan. No Narcan? Oh, you oh you awake oh, now? Yeah. Oh, you're awake now? You don't want this? You must can't let you die on the watch. I'm not dying, but what? Is your heart? Oh, yeah. Breathe. 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 There you go. Breathe. All right, sorry. You might start fighting here in a little bit, so. I got it. Got a bag. You want to get that out? Yep. There you go. What's up, man? Go ahead and hit your system in a little bit. Yeah. It's going to wake you up, Doc. It's going to wake you up. Always got to be doing the most. Yeah, man. Uh, EMS on the way, man. Uh, yeah, you're under arrest. I'm searching you. Uh, Getting all your stuff. Uh, the police. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of money. Yeah. What's up, man? The police, man. Not Adam Clark. Not Adam Clark. Not Adam hey. no. Yeah. All right. We're going to roll back on this side. Come hey, on. roll back. No. There you go. Ambulance is coming, brother. Come on. Free for me. EMF about to be here. Yeah, we'll just have to get it counted later. Hey, he got tased and now his heart hurts and he's just going to sleep a lot. I narcaned him in case he did AC. He's some dope. Dope. I hit him with narcan, so. How much did you give him? Just, uh, just the one. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it's like four milligrams, right? Hey, man. Hey. What's your name? Yeah. All right. He'll ride with y'all in the mouth. Yeah. Okay. Can we move the cuffs in front real quick? No. He's, he got tased and he was just fighting. Yeah, so. FBI task force agent, so we better, I think for everybody. Okay. We're going to go to the hospital. Officer Foggy's going to ride with you. I got to grab my um, gun. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't let you go without that. There you go. Sure. Wake up, bro. Wake up now. Come on. You can't be feeling good on your hands, dude. Yeah. If you can hear me, Mr. It's a search warrant for your person. I'm going to stick it in your pocket. He didn't say. He just started acting up. You got a sister coming up behind you. Hey. Going through the hospital, he got tased. Where did he get tased? Uh, they had a search warrant. He's stealing. Right here. Yeah, he's here. And. Right here? The one went in his foot, but we got that one out too. Just the back. Search warrant for his person. Just seeing him first. Yeah. All right. Where are we all at? Hey, watch your. Hey, watch your. The barbs are right there, so watch the step. After being taken to the hospital, the man's condition was not critical. It was just an act. However, his subsequent actions were quite unexpected. I'll leave that for the detective to explain that to you, all right? So you're here with me, you're the arresting officer. I'm not the arresting officer. I'm here with you because I have to transport you. What, money? You got your money. I'm not, you gotta speak, man. I don't understand what you're saying. What, the cuff? What about him? If you can speak, man, I'll, I'll talk to you, but I don't understand moans and groans. Can't help you, man. Who? I think you were tased. Well, you're in the hospital now, man. They're going to take care of you. You're at the hospital, you're at Piedmont. What? You say your heart was hurt. Yeah, it's going to Okay. My chin is hurting right now, man. I need help. Okay. 
Nurses are right hey, here. Doc, what's going on with you today? I'm Well, he was specific enough to say what, what? electronic devices, anything like that, pictures, text phones. Yes, but it don't have no 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 front, no car, no nothing on it. They not close with my car. Like like I said, man, that's don't on black man, it ain't on me. Bro. Bro, I can't I can't help you. I can't help you, bro. Hey. Can't help you, man. Can't help you anymore. The man was charged with two counts of drug trafficking and obstruction of Leo. Don't miss out on thrilling stories about criminals. Subscribe to the channel for all the action.